Hey there, I'm Tiffany and this is The A Show. Let me tell you guys a little story. Back in 1959, some surfers in Southern California were checking out those waves. They weren't looking too pretty. So they had the brilliant idea to trade the swells for the streets. Now, no one knows who was the first to slap a set of wheels on a board, but we do know that Venice Beach is apparently the birthplace of skateboarding. This week, I'd like to introduce the newest member of the Inisec TV team, drumroll please, Miss Tara Bell, and she is in Venice to check out the latest skateboarding first. What's going on? My name is Tara Bell right here in Venice Beach, California for Inisec TV. This is one of the most eclectic, unbelievable spots probably in Southern California. So many great people around, the energy is high, and today we're going to check out the new skate park that just opened two weeks ago. That's right, right here on the beach. It is right here next to the ocean, and as you can tell, we're going to go check it out. We have people of all ages. We're talking kids from three years old all the way up into their 80s. It is great. Your life has immensely changed. Tell us what's different about this park from other parks you skated at. Uh, well, this park's actually the only park in the world that's on the on the sand, on a beach. Right. Yeah. So uh, we all keep an eye over our shoulder for the next tsunami, but you know, until then, you just drop in and shred it up. Yeah. 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 Now we're looking at some interesting uh, objects and figures over here. Can you tell us a little history about what's going on with that? Uh, this is the Venice uh, graffiti area, and. Uh, People come here and express themselves. There's a self-expression going on here in Venice Beach. Mm -hmm. And uh, this particular mural right here is the Venice Beach Polar Bears, which I don't know, it's like the old school guard of Venice. Yeah. yeah. And you know, people generally pick up the trash. And, oh wait, what's this? Oh man, we gotta take care of this, you know. Picking up the trash, cleaning it up, keeping it real. That's a sweet name. Thank you. What's up with the new skate park? It's just a free-for-all. You don't need to wear pads. You don't have to sign up for anything. You just walk in and start skating. All right, Doug. Well, um, this has been sweet and real for me. So thank you so much. Keep it gnarly. <laughs> All right. Skateboarding originated right where I'm standing, and today we have this gorgeous, rad skate park located right on the beach, about 100 yards away from the ocean. For Inisec TV, my name is Tara Bell, and hey, who knows what the future holds? I'll see you guys next time. You'll be seeing a lot more of Tara in the coming weeks as she travels from the sandy shores of Southern California to the snow-capped mountains of Utah in search of athletes who crave the adrenaline rush of extreme sports. Which brings me to this next video that I found on our website. stands for adrenaline. That lead biker was awesome. But I gotta give some props to the cameraman. He was amazing. Two more A's, guys. Yeah. Now, let's see what's going on in the Twitter world. Let's stick with our theme and see what professional skateboarder Andy McDonald had to say. My buddy and I built a big set of stairs for the deck today. It almost crushed us when we went to lift it into place. I should stick to skateboarding. I think that's a good idea, because then maybe you could afford to have people do that work for you. On to pro skateboarder Lindsay Adams Hawkins. She shares, got eaten alive by bugs last night. Awesome. Ah, I thought awesome was supposed to be a good thing. I mean, unless you like being eaten by bugs. Well, that's it for this edition of The A Show. I'm Tiffany, and I'll see you later, skaters.